In 2009, Malcolm was ranked number 54 by the World Tennis Federation. He is the current Scottish indoor champion for his age group. Malcolm was a professional tennis coach until his illness began. From speaking to him, sometimes he's not able to hold a conversation or he gets a wee bit wondering in his conversations. But. Uh, well, Malcolm communicates through his tennis because he is so good and it comes from his soul. When I first met Malcolm and his parents, they seemed keen for Malcolm to contribute actively in society. Their idea was for Malcolm to participate in an emerging field in tennis coaching. Mm. Malcolm's main priority is to play tennis and to be on the court because he was a tennis coach. Um, he's extremely good at tennis. His level so far has not been not, not altered at all. So to find a way to allow Malcolm to be on court, the idea is him to be a hitting partner assisting tennis coaches. And we think that tennis coaches will find this a great value because for one thing, the tennis coach can be on the same side as the pupil, um, which means that they can step in right away and alter faults and suggest amendments to a pupil's technique. Uh, whereas without a hitting partner, they would be on the other side of the net um, and it, it wouldn't work as well. And hopefully the idea is that there'll also be a benefit to uh, the person being coached because um, they should improve more quickly with the advice coming. Um, so we really want it, we want it um, looked at as a sort of value-based scheme. We don't want people to be playing tennis with Malcolm out of goodwill or out of sympathy, but you know, we think Malcolm will be a benefit to the client and to the coach, and we think also to the club where, he, where the, this coaching is taking part. And the bottom line for us is that Malcolm will have additional time on court, the coaches will have additional clients, um, and the club will have, we think, an enhanced reputation. Vocational role is one of the areas occupational therapists address and it was my role to explore this possibility with Malcolm. Occupational therapists are health, voluntary and social care professionals who uniquely carry out a majority of assessment and interventions in the real life context. Therefore, for Malcolm, this predominantly took place on the tennis court. The assessment findings suggested this vocational role could be possible with an occupational therapy support plan in place. In spite of his illness, his skills in terms of playing tennis has not been affected by his condition. And I think we found that that was an important area to tap into. Uh, and the support plan does that brilliantly. And what the plan does is to give very clear uh, recommendations of how to respond in certain situation and it also um, allows those supporting Malcolm gives them confidence uh, in delivering uh, the support. The tips the support plan gives uh, for example in terms of uh, how much information to give to Malcolm you know to keep it simple and uh, not to overcomplicate stuff. The support plan, I think, is extremely good because it makes it very obvious that it's not just me that's saying to coaches and clubs, Malcolm will be of assistance to you. It's showing you that an occupational therapist uh, has come in, she's talked to Malcolm, uh, she's discussed what Malcolm can and cannot do, um, and she's set it down uh, on paper, and this document can be given to a club the young uh, caring association which co has contacted us have been extremely proactive. Um, the occupational therapist, therapist I call a just-do partner uh, and that's exactly what, what we want. At the moment, in fairness, everything is words but at least we've now got something to grasp and we've got a lot more hope that Malcolm will be playing tennis for a long while. Recently, the support plan was discussed with local private tennis clubs and the council. 
via Glasgow Life, who are keen to have Malcolm involved in tennis coaching very soon.